Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Backpack Trader Training Room for Tuesday, June the 8th, 2021. And yeah, everything had been very quiet this morning until just a few minutes ago. Cranking it up quickly. Do say hello and hit the like button. But set up at 916, 916.48, getting a short setup that just hit target one. So that will be a one and done for the 9 a.m. session. Getting a 27, t or I'm sorry, a 17 tick target one. The entry was at 69.19. Target was at 69.02. Money management at 04. And our stop now at 69.18. And we are likely to run into some resistance trying to process through the 200. EMA and the 50 EMA, right? 200 EMA, right where we are now. Unleaded fall, was following right along with crude, picking up a short just about the same time. And that short being at night, $2.19. $2.1929. Money management at 1883. Target at 1850. And it has hit that. So Unleaded is also in a POQ trade at the moment. And it stopped currently at 1916. And the pound Aussie kind of picking up where it left off yesterday. No trades at all. And we're about, we're under four minutes to market open. Russell, in, in fact, Russell just stopped out of that short trade. So the Russell is flat. The YM is flat. The Russell and the YM both making big moves up. In the last couple of hours, the last three hours or so, as well as unleaded and, and crude. Now, unleaded and crude are, don't know if these will be reaction moves, quite possible given the, the moves that they've, they've made may come by. The reaction move would be coming back to test the, the 200, I suspect. To test the 200 or test the 50, either one. But I wouldn't would not be at all surprised to see see them bounce. Or if it pushes down through the 50, it may just go right back to the session lows. Session lo low and session high both on screen at the moment. And we have we have almost a one dollar range on crude, sixty eight forty seven to sixty nine forty on the session, and unleaded stop to nineteen oh six now. Yes, Al, that is is a Al asking. If the CL chart is an eight tick range bar, and that's exactly what it is, uh, the Ninja Trader equivalent of an uh, eight cent momentum bar. So that is our mini session trade plan. We're getting close to rollover for the. Russell and the YM, the Russell YM and the ES, micro ES for Catapult. Uh, 
But that up move, starting back here at you know, roughly just after 7 o'clock, and reaching a peak just after 9 o'clock. So two hours, it had, we had a full, almost a full dollar move. And 93 cent moves. So now we're back, back 40 cents, right, right at $69 and the 200 EMA. That is the eight range bar. Still on the July con on the July contract. Interesting phenomenon on unleaded gas this morning. I was looking at the volume. Yesterday's volume was about four to three for the July contract, but this morning, yeah, this morning when I looked at the volume here on this session's volume for the, the contracts, the August contract actually had about 10% more volume, but in, nah, the July contract has did seem to be more more being traded this morning. So I stuck. I'm sticking with the July contract. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. And the markets are open. Soybeans. Getting a long setup right at open. Uh, did we have time to get catch that? Four seconds, nine seconds, and only four seconds to the last bar that hit hit the entry. So that, that one went too fast. Did this short go too fast? 19. Yes, that one went too fast also. So no trade, no tradable trade so far this morning on soybeans. 1888 for the unleaded stop now. Crude hitting target two. So that's 17 and 27, 44 hips or 44 ticks on unleaded on crude this morning. And the stop has moved down to 69.16. The YM with a short. That trade at 6.19. Money management at 599 and target at 596. A 23 tick target and money management, I believe, was just hit. No, it was they missed it by missed money, missed money management by one one tick. Bouncing off the 200 EMA and the 600. 34,600. Now there's a soybeans trade that looks like it might be have been possible. 37 to 45. Eight seconds there. That one possibly I'd have to look at the look at a faster chart to see how quickly it moved through there. Looks like it did pull back at least a little bit from it, the opening of the bar. And the YM with a with target one and target two. Twenty-three ticks at target one, thirty-five at target two, depending on how you played that. And the Russell with its first trade of the morning. A short at 
So hitting all three targets on soybeans if you're able to get into that trade. Stop at 74.50 now. Unleaded, stop at 18.52. Big trade this morning on unleaded. Lots of movement in the energies this morning. And the YM stopping out at the session, looks like stopping out at the session open at 6.11. So one and done. This morning on the YM, quite possibly a reaction move short, but it, it is enough to get us our profit targets and get us done. And Al, Al reporting that he had nearly the same trade on the counterpunch 377 tick chart as we had on Spotlight 8 range, 8 cent momentum or 8 tick range, depending on your platform. And soybeans still surviving, stop to... 50, uh, 1576 even. Crude to Soybeans stop to 1577 even. And the Russell hitting money management stop now at 25.6. Target at 20.2 for target two. If you're using target one, 22.4. Target one's been hit. 25.1 for the stop now. So everybody, everything's getting done quickly. This is, we've got four charts in POQ trades and five charts in POQ. Well, actually the soybeans just finished. Stopped out at 1577, and that's a POQ trade there. POQ, one and done, a one and done POQ. You're right, very often, Al, very often they do get similar trades, but then there are also instances where they're quite different because they look at different, different parameters. Wow. Unleaded. Unleaded gas. Stopped down to 1756. It just moved again. Crude stopped down to 6887. So the YM and Soybeans are complete. Unleaded, crude, and the Russell, and the Russell actually is com complete as well. So it's not a POQ trade if you're trading target two, but it is a nice little partial win. It would be POQ if you're trading target one.
and that, believe it or not, is a squeeze zone trade on Russell. <laughs> is the filter that's causing that trade to show gray. And the Russell with a blue SMA short trade. Twenty-one two. Spike down through. It probably wasn't tradable on the spike down. Unleaded continuing to move. So it has tracked from the session low to the session high and back to the session low again this morning. Not as wide a range on, on leaded, only about 40, 40 or 50 ticks. And crude having Swung through, up through 93 cents, and now down through 80 cents. Unleaded stop, 1726. And crude stop at 68.83. If I were trading it, I think I would. I think I'd get in sync with the Russell at 20.9. 17.11 for unleaded now, 16.80 or 68.82 for crude. And still nothing doing on the pound Aussie. Definitely a home run trade on unleaded gas this morning and on crude for that matter. And the Russell with a a new long at 25.2 or And the Russell Long from 25-1. Looking for money management at 28-3. Target 
36 tick target one, so this is definitely a place you would take take target one. Actually, the prior trade was a 40 tick target, so that that really should be a POQ. Two hundred dollars per contract on that first first short. Okay, crude stomped down to sixty-eight seventy-one, and unleaded down to sixteen eighty-three. See, what was our entry on that? Entry on that crude trade was, yeah, 1929. And stopping out at 1683. So a hundred and nineteen twenty nine, two hundred and fifty ticks, almost on that short on the trailer at four dollars and twenty cents a tick. That's a thousand dollar trailer per contract. Pam soybeans just traded on the, uh, oh, shoot. Is it Comac? It's not the, not trade NYMEX. That's where the, uh, That's that's odd. Uh, it, look on CME and see where that's traded for sure. But if you have, if you have a Globex uh, data feed, if you're getting crude on NYMEX, you sort of, I would expect that you would get um, the the same same data feed would carry your carry soybeans as well. Soybeans with a 79 tick target two and 29, 1929 to 1683. So 27 and 29, 50, or no, 17 and 29 for 46. So 246 plus 79, 255, 325 ticks this morning on unleaded. Are you, what are you, are you running the dollar 25 uh, or 
Yeah, dollar twenty-five momentum bar on that, Pam. Or are you running a different chart on soybeans? This, this long on soybeans is just off to the races. Okay, the Russell <laughs> got a break-even that actually lost a couple of ticks because of a key level adjustment and now is in a long. Actually, no. It break even was the. It's not in the in the, not in the short rather because the break even trade after the the partial win on the short is a POQ. Two management trades is power of quitting, and it would would have been positive. So five PQs so so far. The only thing we're still looking at is the pound Aussie. We haven't even had haven't need, had any trades on it. So let's bring up the the catapult micro ES and throw that up over unleaded for the moment. Let's see, so what have we had there? 935, we had a short trade that had triggered in and has now hit targets one and two. What was that? Okay, <laughs> lost the stream momentarily there, it looks like. But it looks like it's back now. So this was a long trade that we potentially got. Oops. Let's see. Okay, that was that one trailed all the way up to seven. And a break even. And then our this big winner. So if you didn't get the the initial long, you've got a break even and then this just Beautiful purple magenta trade. See how fast that went through. Oh yeah, that, that didn't go terribly fast, but has gone nicely through three targets and nice big trailer. And hitting all four targets on the micro ES.
June contract. So come on, folks. Let's have some questions this morning. We've got about five minutes before the 10 a.m. crude session. But we, we're looking at, we're watching the pound Aussie chart that's giving us nothing in the way of trades. And the micro ES... which is in its 9.35 session POQ trade. So we won't have anything happening until 10 o'clock other than just the trailer on the micro ES or any new trade we pick up on the Now that's interesting. Oh, yeah. It's not track the micro the calculator is not tracking this trade because it actually hit stop and entry on the same bar so it doesn't know doesn't understand what when it actually hit, did hit when it hit touched the stop went touched the stop and when it came to the entry and based on bar I'd say it certainly would have been a situation where it touched the stop first and then came down and hit the entry so it would be it should be a valid trade Still nothing on, on on pound Aussie. And we're about twenty five minutes from our stand down there. So we will have to track this one manually. And crude is in a trade right now that would, would be at this point anyway a get in sync for the 10 a.m. session. Ten AM session coming in two minutes.
And given the proximity to the session low, especially since we're just down below the, the 50 cent level with the stop, I think I would, would move that down to move the stop down to 46. I don't want to take it down to forty-four. Actually, a stop at forty-seven. Yeah. I'd it's a five tick adjustment, but I think 44 is the right place for it. I really didn't, don't want to take it down five ticks, but. I don't think 49 is a good place for it with 47 being the session low. And we are now in the 10 a.m. session. Testing the 200 EMA again. We'll have to push through that to hit money management. It's still, it's a valid get in sync at the moment. 76 for the entry. Micro ES looks like stop still at break even.
All right, and looks like tar money management target one and target two achieved on the crude trade. So that will be APOQ. Another one and done session for crude. That's going to be 21 to target one and 33 to target two. So that's 54 added to the 44 earlier. That would be what, 98, eight, $980 on the session. Trading two fixed targets. Or on the day, rather, for the two sessions. Nobody's giving me much help here. It's a crude stop at sixty-eight eighty-four, and really nice movement this morning in the energies. So let's see where we go from here. How nosy, man. Setting a new session low. And there is a new trade on my chart on the pound, pound Aussie. Good size trade with that move. That's a trade off the 50 EMA. So that's, yep, and looks like Trade Today is picking it up too. Trade Today is A244, just like mine. Money management at, let's see, A227, it looks like. Stops at 82.71, and that agrees. A225 for my target one, 26 for trade a day. So, yep, yeah, looks very similar. No reason to apologize, JJC. That's that's exactly what what we suggest that you do is get get familiar before you and learn the system before you try to go in and start trading it. Do your testing. Get familiar with the system. Doing the testing does two things. It gets you familiar with the system, and it also gets you a chance gives you a chance to build a level of confidence in the system based on what you have seen, not what somebody else has told you. And that's a critical factor for many people in building a confidence in the system, so that you'll stick with it if it when it does take a few losses because it, every system will take some losses
that's just part of trading. Every trade plan is going to take some losses at some point. And unless you have confidence in the trade, the longevity of the trade plan overall, that even after a drawdown, it will come back and, and set new equity highs, then you're just, you know, when you get, get that first significant drawdown, you're going to quit. So that's why building that confidence in the system is important. Now, the crude long going through target two now with a stop at Not a, it's been a really good morning for price movement. Looks like I came right to, yeah, just one tick beyond the entry on the pound Aussie on that on the short trade with, with the Wanda data. Probably didn't get down that far with on trade station. So it, trade station hasn't triggered in, but most likely a, any your Wanda traders have triggered in. And crude going up through target three, still at 68.94. Looks like it's going to move to 60, 68.99 on the close of this bar. And balance line, I don't, I'm pretty sure won't get up to 69.05 on this bar which is what it would take to get above the 68.99. $69 being a major key level. The stock would have to move to 
from sixty-eight ninety-nine. Yeah, that bar's only going to go up one more tick at most. So uh, as high as the balance line will, will possibly go is 69.04. So our stop will be 68.99 on the close of this bar. Now it's not going to go up at all. There's our 68.99 stop. Let's see. We got as low as 69.14. Ooh. Bar will close. On the balance line, if it closes down, so if it closes down, stop will stay where it is. Well, no, I take that back. We've, we've gotten to put enough push upward that, yeah, 69.10 will be the close currently. So our close of the next bar will move up to 69.04. Will definitely move. So it wouldn't wouldn't hurt to move it up early, just in case there is a quick move. When you know for a fact that it's going to move. You can't anticipate it just to protect from a quick move. Because this, this bar will close no lower than 6910, which will definitely bring the stop up to 6904. And it's not going to based on the prior bar having a higher high than this one can possibly have. The stop is not going to move up, or the balance line is not going to move up anymore on, during this bar. So that will be the stop. Questions, comments? Press that like button. That will help Troy out on the, in the YouTube algorithm. Now we have, now we're watching paint dry. This action is slowing down considerably.
getting into a bit of midsummer doldrums. A lot of people getting out and doing some traveling, doing some doing vacations that were put off last year with COVID. I'm sure. Sixty nine oh four for the crude stop now. The next move will be to oh nine. Let's see, we've got a high on this bar of twenty three. So yeah, fifteen. We'll we'll definitely move up to at least oh nine. And we could go higher with an up close. We need to see the balance line move up to at least 69.14 to get higher than 69, uh, 69.09 stop. Pound Aussie just kind of grinding along in the European session. Today, so far, and now into the U.S. session. Liquidity in the pound Aussie pair doesn't seem to be that quite as strong as it has been late of late. The spreads are a little bit wider than I have seen them. Maybe half a cent or so. Or not half a cent, but five, maybe five ticks or so larger. Than what I was see, seeing maybe a couple of weeks ago.
Okay, stop on crude up to 69.09. Now it looks like we've got 69.26 for 27 for the bar high. So 69.19. Yep, our next move will be to 69.12. Definite close above, so we will move on this bar. On the close of this bar to 12 or higher. And pushing up to 29, that 730 is the close point. There's 30 and 31, and we did close the bar. Stop moves up to 69.13. We'll definitely get at least a one tick move on the next bar. Could be more than that with an up close. And okay, we've hit our stand down. No, that's, yeah, we've hit our stand down point on trade today, assuming that it hasn't triggered in.
Russell seems to be off to the races, as does Crude. 69-17 for the Crude stop now on this trade. Cruden got down as low as 51, 68.51 and is now back up at 69, gotten as high as 69.37. So another 86, 86 cent move. This is what really profitable days look like. <laughs> Trading the mini sessions. On catapult, our fourteen EMA is it? Twenty five twenty eight. So that would put our stop at twenty five seventy five. It was done. It was canceled by the our stand down the by your normal stand down at ten twenty, and uh, the, rather than anything else, it had at least as far as my chart is concerned, it hasn't canceled. But the ten twenty stand down is is what took it down. Where you, did you trigger in? Because I noticed that my data got did get to a point it would have triggered in. It went. One tick beyond the entry. So apparently, Kevin Kevin's chart didn't didn't ever trigger before ten twenty. Interesting that the e micro ES and the YM are both on the downside of the session, and the Russell is up at session highs.
micro ES stop down now at 42.25 even. And the crude stop at 69.22. Looks like it's going to move up to 69.29 at least. Actually, no, it's it's up to 69.24. It's hiding under the session open there. And crude pushing to new session highs. Sixty nine forty nine for the new session high. So now we do have a full full dollar swing or range on the session. Dollar and two cents. And if you didn't trade the 935 session on the micro ES, the 1030 session, which actually is, I have to rephrase that. For the micro ES, the, the sessions are 835 and 930 central time, because that is ex, its exchange time. And so we have a new short trade. If you didn't take the Nine thirty five or the eight thirty five session trade at forty two eighteen fifty. Sixty nine twenty nine for the crude stop. And it keeps on climbing. Had one down bar. Now going back to test again. Fifty cent level providing some resistance at the moment. Okay, the stop remains at 69.29. For the moment, we'll move up to 69.32 or better on this bar. And there is there we go through 69.50. Stop to 69.33. Sixty nine thirty nine. Okay, folks, watching the end of the ten AM session crew trade, we're actually into the eleven AM session, or almost. And we're about 20 minutes from the 11 a.m. session. But watching the micro ES trade. And let's see where we are. 
on the micro ES trade. Last bar, EMA on the last bar was 23.92. So that will take us to 24.50 for the stop. Now the Russell has kind of stalled and micro ES and the YM starting to move up. So Russell kind of going against the other two mar markets that I'm showing here at the moment. Okay, stop will come up to at least 69.44 on this bar. And there it is, crude to 69.44. And it looks like we did get to 2450. No, nope, only to 2425. So still surviving on the micro ES trailer. That's the only position left on that trade. Al Nosey still going sideways. Trade today traders are supposedly still flat and waiting for 11 o'clock to begin looking for trades again. Some of you may have, if you're on a Wanda, may very well have triggered into the short trade. And we finally did get to 24.50 on, on the micro ES, so that the trailer did st stop out there. Mm 
We're coming up on an hour and a half. And so I believe, unless I'm starting to get some questions, I believe I'm going to go ahead and shut it down at about 10.50. We're just watching to, to see where the the crude stop, crude trade stops out, stop now at 69.47. And it looks like we're getting a little bit of a pullback. 69.49. I'm getting a 30 cent rise of the session high. Challenging our stop on crude, but not getting there. You have a good one, Al. I'm going to be headed out myself short here in just a couple of minutes. Ah, and we it went just to pull back into the balance line, stop surviving at sixty nine forty nine. That depends on what platform you're using and your own preference. I personally just trade off the charts. I use Tra Tra Ninja Trader Chart Trader. But I do keep um, a their soup one of a Superdome open for handling individual orders when I get a pro get within like one tick of a target or that kind of thing. A 
Troy, Troy uses a, while it's on a separate screen, it's not, he uses the, the trade station matrix for most of his day trading on futures, which is equivalent to the Ninja Trader, basically equivalent to the Ninja Trader Superdome. I could I could use either the Superdome or the chart trader. I just find it easier to maintain my focus one place, and not have to look for the trade one place and play and execute it somewhere else. But that's something you need to to work on for yourself. That's one of the one of the two uses for sim mode is just practicing your executions. Yes, TradeStation has the has the chart trader capability. I'm not sure exactly what those are. Troy can help you a little bit more with that. He'll tomorrow or ne next week. And how to how to set up your your trades in the, in the matrix and to set up your templates that you would you trade templates that you would use for your bracket orders and so forth on chart trader as well for that matter Well, the pound Aussie making a small excursion above the 50 EMA and then coming back down. But right now, it's just kind of stuck right around the 50, 50 EMA and the SMA. And don't don't be afraid to to work with the trade station support people, and they actually have some some good training videos apparently as well. Yeah, so now we and there's another stop move on crude sixty nine fifty four. All right. You know, kind of sideways price action that 
10 a.m. session is going to be POQ. <laughs> if you're just trading two fixed positions, you've been out for a long time. And the only thing left is our pound Aussie chart. And it just seems to be going back and forth, kind of going sideways. And that, the trade plan on the Pound Aussie will reopen in about three minutes. And as of the moment, that short trade is still again. Well, okay, no, and it, if it didn't trigger in, it has canceled now. Or we definitely would have canceled on Trade Station if it didn't trigger in. And there is a stop and reverse green trade. I actually think I would, I might, that's at 58. Uh, I think I might just leave the stop at 53, 53 or 54, 54, whatever it is. And we're not going to take that trade. I might just leave it to see, see if I can catch a, a bigger move. Yeah, at 54. See if see if, if you're if you have the trail running, see if you can catch an additional leg up. Don't don't just give it up. Now it's going to move up to 59. Okay, yeah, and, and because that other that short trade did trigger in, uh, we're going to have to track it manually from there. If you if you didn't didn't worry because that's a small, and eh, relatively small, not terribly so, short trade. But as, as big a move as we've had, I would be surprised to see a reasonably good pullback. And actually, okay, I would have put stop at probably fifty seven. Or I would leave it just leave it at fifty four. And you would have stopped out, but that's that's the end of that trade. And this is where I'm going to call it and call it a morning. <laughs> you heard that, huh? <laughs> that's one of our two cats.
They come to check on me, check on me periodically. He came to tell me that my wife just left for a doctor's appointment. Wanted me to make sure I was alone, that I knew I was alone in the house with them. Oh, uh, no, hey, that wasn't she. That was he. All of, Both of our cats are he and our dog. And actually, yeah, uh, okay. 11 a.m. session, crude trade, traders, that is your, but you were still in the, if you were, had gotten out of the, and you're just trading fixed targets, that green trade would be your 11 a.m. session trade. And it's now going to be POQ as well, hitting targets two and three, since those were the typically when the, it's a smaller trade, when, when money management is beyond target one, we'll move fixed targets to, to up, up along with it. But it had hit targets two and three already. And that was one, you know, even if you didn't pick it up initially, and I, I wouldn't have jumped into that one right away. That's just not much of a pullback until it actually went up and tested again and came down. And that's the, the pulling back down again and... Yeah, because 59.57 was the close of that bar, so you definitely had a chance to get in it. And you just nick, nick out a 28 ticks. You know, <laughs> so you just pick, out, pick up two or three, two to 250 $300 and <laughs> every little bit. Yes, he is... He is neutered, actually. Both our cats and our dog are, are neutered. So that even got the 11 o'clock session out of the way. How do you like that? <laughs> All right. On that note, I am going to call it a day. Uh, yes. No, we, we definitely took care of that early. I mean, we're looking at picking up an, another purebred Maine Coon. We've got one. We just lost one. Uh just before Christmas. So we're on a wait list. But that one, 
that one's going to be a, a little a different genetic line than we've had, and we'll probably wait you know, eighteen months or so to to spay to to neuter that one, and then we're looking for a male because that particular genetic line takes longer to mature. It's one of the larger Maine Coon lines. And those of you that were triggered into the How Nauzy Long got, just got stopped out. So this is a good place to say goodbye. And we, Troy will be in tomorrow with the regular morning session and the crude oil report back to Wednesday again at 10.30. Normal week this week, and I will be back on Thursday. Everyone have a good afternoon, and we'll see you tomorrow. Now, we, we've had, yeah, I, we do understand that, Jay. Jay we've, had, we've had cats now for... What? We got our first one in 96, so we've had been having cats for over 20 years. Seems 16 years seems to be our, 16, 17 years seems to be the, our normal mark, because that's, we've lost three at that at that point and they were they were each about four years apart But yes, we have have been very very careful to make sure they were all they were all but one was male, but all have been either spayed or neutered. All right, everybody, have a good one. See you tomorrow.